Welcome back to another episode on News Portal in Laravel. In this video, we'll be working on the advertisement sections in our News Portal. But before that, please hit the like button and subscribe us to let us know you are here. All right. So without wasting time, let's get started. So we have already completed almost everything in our News Portal. The only thing remaining in the front end is the advertisement section. We have got one on the header section that's called Leaderboard and we can add a few in our sidebar. Let's work on that today then. Let's open the terminal and create a model and migration file for advertisement table then. Let's say the model and migration file is advertisement. Open the model and define the table name and primary key. Let's say AID. Open the migration file and define the columns. Let's update the ID first then let's add the title. We'll need the URL to link to the product. We'll need the image, right? That's what we're actually working for. Let's add a column to define its position. Let's say location. Let's add the status to. Migrate the table columns. And your database table will be created. Let's close these files then. Let's add a new folder named advertisement in back in view section then. Open the post files and save them inside advertisement folder with relatable names. Let's say this is add ADV. This one's all ADV. And this one's edit ADV. Open the backend master blade and add links to view those templates. Let's copy the pages link and modify them for convenience. This will be advertisements. Let's say this is all ADVs and this one add ADV. Change the titles to. Let's change the icon to here. Open the backend in browser and refresh it. Well, you can see the advertisement link on the sidebar. Let's open it and click on the add ADV link. You'll get the route exception error. Let's add the route in web.psp file then. route, get, add ADV. Let's send it to admin controller at add ADV. Open the admin controller and add the method add ADV then. And all you need to do here is write in the add ADV blade, right? Well, that's inside the advertisement folder and that is inside the backend folder, isn't it? Let's take the add ADV blade we don't need the categories, right? Let's remove it then. Let's change everything that we need here then. Change the title. Let's say the form URL is add ADV. The table name will be advertisements. Let's make it full width we call SM12. We don't need the ID here because we don't have the slot field. Let's make it a URL. Then we can remove all the fields except the email section because we'll need that. Let's add the form group class here to add space below the image section. Let's say the label is advertisement emails. Let's say the text here is upload emails. Let's add a drop down option to select where you want to place the advertisement. One will be the top header section, generally called leaderboard. Let's say another location is sidebar top. And the other one is sidebar bottom. Let's add status to them. And we'll need the button to submit the form, right? Let's remove the CK editor script too from here. We don't need that. Refresh the browser and you can see the form page to add advertisement on the backend. Let's add the route to add advertisement on our web.psp file before trying to add advertisement data then. Route, post, add ADV and we'll send it to crowd controller at insert data, right? Go back to the backend and add some data. 
I'll add a larger image for a later board here. The image size will be around 800 by 100 pixels. Submit the form and the data is inserted into the database table. Let's have a look at the database table then. Here you can see the data. Let's get back to the backend and add some more data then. Let's add some square images for sidebar advertisements then. Let's say this one's for the top of the sidebar. Let's add one more for the bottom of the sidebar. Well, that's done then. Let's copy everything from add ADV and replace the existing content in edit ADV. We can modify it to our liking. But before that, let's work on the all ADV blend. Let's add a route named all ADV and send it to admin controller at all ADV. Go to the admin controller and add a method named all ADV. We'll return the backend all ADV view here. And the data to be displayed in that blade will be everything from advertisements table. Let's make the most recent appear on top. Let's modify the all ADV blade then. Title will be all advertisements. This will be add ADV. We can remove the published and search section. Table name will be advertisements. ID will be AID. We won't need the presentation here. Title is OK. Let's change it to the link. This will be location. Image is all right. Let's add status. And let's remove the width from here. The variable is dollar data, right? Let's make it edit ADV. ID is AID. Let's display the field values then. Let's remove the pagination from here too. Let's refresh the browser and click on the all ADV link. Well, there's an error on route. Let's check that. It must be ADVs, right? Refresh the browser once again and you can see the data. Click on any data link and again you'll see the route error. Let's add the route then. Route get edit ADV. admin controller at let's say edit ADV add the method in the route let's copy it rename the method we'll pass the ID here change the query to fetch first data that matches the query and change the view blend refresh the browser and you can see the form page loaded let's modify it to display the selected data and update from here Change the title, update the URL, let's pass the ID to. We'll need to send the primary key ID to here. Let's display the values in related fields then. This is title, this is the URL. Let's check the image before showing it. We can change the label to replace the image here. Let's write the location this way. And the status. We've done it before, right? Let's change the button text to 
refresh the browser and you can see the data. Let's try to edit in them. Here the route is missing. Let's add the route then. Let's make it update ADV. Out post update ADV. And we'll send it to crowd controller at update data. Let's go back to the edit page. Make some changes. Submit it. And you can see the data is updated. You can go back to the all ADV page and check the delete function. And that should work fine. Now let's open the front end master blade. We'll display the leaderboard advertisement here. We'll need the front controller too for that. Add a query in magic method to face the leaderboard data. Then check the data and display it in the header section. Add the link to. This must be leaderboard, right? Refresh the front end page and you can see the leaderboard advertisement at top right above the navigation menus with the link to redirect the user to a related site. You can add leaderboard after each section, but here let's display the other two advertisements on the sidebar. Let's go back to the front controller and add queries to retrieve those data separately. Let's say one is sidebar top and the other is sidebar bottom. Face data that matches relative location. Send them as object to the blade view files. Let's copy the leaderboard content from here. All we need to do is paste this code in the desired section and replace the variable. Since we didn't make a separate sidebar file, We'll need to go to all the view blades and do that manually. Let's start with index blade. Let's add it right before the style section. And the variable will be sidebar top. Let's display the other advertisement here. And the variable will be sidebar bottom. Refresh the browser and you can see the advertisements on your news portal. Let's add some spacings around the ads then. Well, that looks fine now. Now let's add the same code block in other front end view blades and you're done.
So the category blade is done. Let's do the same article or single blade. That's also done. Let's do the same with the contact space. That's also done. Now the only blade remaining is the Pages blade. Let's work on that too. And you can see the advertisements here too. So that's all for today. We'll work on the backend authentication part in our next lesson. That will be the last lesson of the series. Please hit like if you found this tutorial useful and share your feelings about the series through the comments. Thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel for more videos. Thank you.